Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Big Ring Watopia for a very exciting race. This is the EVR Winter Series and I thought I would give this one a go. This is actually quite a long race, so over 30 miles long. So I was expecting this one to take between, I don't know, an hour and a quarter and an hour and a half. Um, so yeah, very attritional race. Um, although it's not a very hilly course, which is um, a good thing for all of those that um, watch my videos. Um, we've got an all category start here um, and quite a stacked field. So we've got, um, as you can see in total, around about 112 riders, of which probably 30 to 40 of those are in category C. So that's my category. So with this one, for me, I obviously always want to win a race, but... To get anywhere near the podium is always going to be a good thing. So that was kind of going to be my my main aim throughout. Um, so a really, really interesting race. Lots and lots of talking points. So, uh, so stick around. Now, I just want to say thank you for all of those who uh, like and comment on my videos. And for all of those that have subscribed, uh, really does mean a lot to me. And don't forget, if Swift racing is something that you like, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So here we are, we've got off to uh, quite a quick start here. And uh, this is really good practice, I thought, for the Flam Rouge Racing um, Tour with Topia, which is coming up in the start of January, which is kind of the next big event that I'm, I'm really planning for and really looking forward to. So with these all category starts, it's really important, I think, to get in a, a fast group or the front group and to just try and hold on as long as possible. Now, on some occasions, that doesn't always work. So if it's an extremely long race, I'm talking about two, three hours plus, then it might not be the best thing to do because you're going to burn a lot of matches doing this. But for this race, which I thought would be between sort of an hour and an hour and a half, I thought it would be a really good idea to kind of stick with this front group for as long as possible, try and hang out with the A's and the B's um, and just, you know, get ahead of those that either, you know, have not got this idea or that can't particularly hang on, um, especially with these roads being very, very flat at the start. And I seem to do a good job here. Now, unfortunately, there is going to be a time or there was a time in this race where the groups then kind of do a little bit of a split and the natural selection of um, A's and B's and then separately C's are formed. So as you can see here, this natural selection is happening. Now I'm pushing quite a few watts here, um, or I was, I was pushing around 300 and it just, it really wasn't sustainable for me and I didn't really want to do a lot of the chasing myself. So I noticed that there was a, a few uh, C's in this little pack here. So I thought, okay, let's just stick around with this uh, this group here and and hang on to the, the back of them. And, and this was probably, this will probably then be my, um, my group for the remainder of the race and also you know my main competitors for the race as well um, now there were a couple of competitors up the road which I wasn't overly worried about because normally when you find a, a lower category in a higher category group there is that once again that natural selection even if it's not at the start of the race it still happens at a certain point whether it be like a little incline or someone decides to push on so i i always had in the back of my mind that the the couple that were up front would always get brought back to this group anyway so for me it's just about now saving my energy as we come through to the kind of roller parts um, or the rollers in this part of the uh, of this part of utopia so um yeah this this bit of Rotopia is quite interesting actually um it's the new the new roads and I've done this quite a few times already I think they look great actually I think this um this part of the map looks really really nice it's in a nice alternative way to get to uh, the Alp um not that I've done that um in a little while um but yeah there there are a few rollers so a couple of times it did get a little bit hairy off the front so you can see my power bar there I'm having to put down quite a, a bit of power to, to kind of keep up which is, is inevitable at the end of the day because people are going to want to push on and try and lose uh, the weaker competitors in this in this pack and I I felt a little bit I felt a little bit like I was I don't know hanging on at this stage I really didn't want to lose this group but also I didn't want to I don't know I didn't want to waste a lot of my energy and you can see here I'm just kind of hanging out the back here and actually 
what I should have done is I should have tried staying at the front of this group a little bit more, um, but I didn't. Um, and that was probably a little bit of a mistake because now I'm, I'm burning some matches having to catch this group up just before a climb which was um a bit of a, a bit of a shame really because it would have been nice to have made a little bit of a, an attack on this upcoming climb now the other bit of advice i would give and as i say you don't have to take this advice but i do quite a lot of swift racing i'm not perfect at it that's for sure um but it's just know the know the course as well um swift insider you know has got a great amount of information on every single course so um, if you if you are in some of these races, make sure you you check out the map first of all to know when the the place to attack is. And I knew that on this particular map, this was the place where attacks were going to happen up this kind of jungle climb. And um, I actually decided to hang on to the the A and the B in this group, which was ah oh, once again a bit of a questionable decision after wasting a lot of energy um, through the rollers. Um, and I just had to let them go in the end, which was. A bit of a shame, but there was not much I could do about it. And I was I was quite worried now at this point about losing the C group. So a little bit of learning for me there. Just, you know, don't do not do too much. Um, you know, if I, I should have made an attack from this group, I should have stayed with them, drafted for a little while and then made the attack. But in terms of my overall kind of race position at the moment, I'm actually not too bad at all. I'm in the front group. Um, there aren't any C's in front of us now. So this is the, the kind of lead group and what are there? Five of us in this group. So, you know, 52 minutes in, we just exit in the jungle now. We've just exited the jungle. Um, we just kind of coming up and, and getting a bit of rest on the way down here. Um, sort of the, the, the latter parts of the epic KOM. Now, this was quite a, a funny thing that happened here. One of the um, One of the riders went off the front, just naturally, I think, um, through being a bit heavier and uh, then this kind of created a little bit of a cat and mouse who's going to make the effort to try and jump back and you know make sure that that person doesn't get away and this was kind of the first little time where things got I don't know a bit like really really testing in this group there was attack after attack which I actually loved I think it's really exciting because it's like oh who decides to you know chase back then somebody else decides to um to make the attack the only kind of um little I, I don't know i don't know what to call it really uh the only thing that was funny in this group was there was there was one b so actually every time the b went no one i don't think chased the b but yeah look there was another attack there and then i decided to bring it back and another one here and yeah it was just getting a little bit too much to be honest um and i was just really unsure of you know, how much energy that I, I would have left for the finish. There's another attack here. And uh, yeah, but I tell you what, it was really, really, I, it's type two fun, isn't it? It's it's fun looking back at this now. But at the time I was like, please, nobody else attack. I'm just not up for any more attacks um, in this race. But um, yeah, a really fun one. It's really good for fitness. You know, it's kind of like a little bit of interval training as we're as we're coming through now i just say to everyone you know great race because it was an it was a really fun race we're around 10 minutes in and you know everyone was everyone was doing their fair share of attacks and i really enjoyed it really enjoyed it but we're coming to the uh the pointy end of the race here as um another attack is about to uh to go down i believe and uh this was kind of a bit of a crucial one because it was uh it was really tough and I, it was the, the Cat B rider and I thought um, I would do a bit of chasing, which was absolutely ridiculous. Um, but I was just hanging on once again. We've not really got much you know, longer in the race. I'm just hanging on to this group and now I think everyone is, everyone is about to uh, chill out. I had to use my drafting um, boost, unfortunately. I couldn't save that to the end, otherwise I thought I'm just going to fall off this group and what's the point I might as well give myself a shot at the end the B rider makes a final go for it and off they go and I think we all know the race is now between uh the five of us or the four of us is it it's the four of us now so here we go here we go this is the final sprint and uh you know as a one in four chance of me winning this race um you can probably guess by the title of the race that I uh, I didn't win but no spoilers yeah so I could still win all right there's that I could still win so anyway, those two pop their 
power ups and I'm on the power as quickly as I possibly can. Ramsey, I'm afraid, has had enough. Um, but uh, yeah, we kind of just follow each other and I'm still pushing, you know, 700 watts, almost 800, but that's all I've got. It's literally all I've got. And uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, whatever way you want to look at it, I come across the line in third position. So for a race that was an hour and 20 minutes long, I will take that all day. And the field, as I said, was pretty strong, to be honest with you. So uh, congrats to um, the, you know, the the guys and girls that were, I was racing with there. Really, really fun one. Um, not a bad result for me. I'll take third place all day. And yeah, probably made a few mistakes on the way, but what an enjoyable race. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you on the next one.